Today in the crypto space, we see Bitcoin holding steady at about $16,600 and Ethereum desperately trying to hold above the $1,200 mark and the rest of the crypto space looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum. Are we going up or are we coming down to lower levels? However, guys, in today's video, I want to talk about a thick layer of FUD that has been presented crypto.com right now is being tested for liquidity do they have enough capital for to support a bank run in today's video guys i want to talk about what could happen i want to be prepared with a plan and a strategy going forward regarding crypto.com and be prepared regarding our assets how are we going to protect our capital so you know what let's talk about the news and let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys welcome welcome if you're new to the channel special welcome to you on the channel we talk about bitcoin we talk about ethereum and we talk about all coins throughout the rest of the community the rest of the crypto space and we look for opportunities where we can capitalize both on the bearish and the bullish scenarios guys in today's video i want to talk about a thick layer of fud that has been presented crypto.com cro what's happening another background throughout the market guys all i have to say is make Make sure that you preserve your capital protect your capital at all costs take your crypto off exchanges guys i'm not trying to um be you know spread more fud here whatsoever I'm, I'm trying to be objective i'm trying to be what i need to be right now for the community which is be protective right now be beyond the defense because we've seen it happen so many times already regarding ftx we basically we basically had a plan that protected every cent on FTX and that's the that's the scenario here you need to stay one step ahead of the market and have that plan and if you appreciate that guys make sure that at any time if you find any value with this video slap the like button guys because it does help with the algorithm okay so let's look at the general market guys obviously i want to talk about crypto.com i want to talk about what is happening there but let's look at what is happening in the market because it can give us an indicator of what um sentiment is out there right now bitcoin's still holding sideways although it is a sunday although it is a weekend number one sundays are usually red days statistically speaking and number two it is definitely retail and traders right now that are uh, selling and buying and selling on exchanges so we got to understand that the level of emotions right now with retail community is quite high and especially when you see another bank run coming in with a major player like crypto.com so let's understand this is put that within the context so that we can kind of get into the mindset here of traders right now um ethereum going sideways still a bnb going sideways holding critical areas but i want to show you the fact that there's some altcoins that are currently testing previous lows or very very close to it so for example i'm one that's just popping up look at sheep right shiba right now is pretty much coming down to previous lows we have solana obviously you know I, i'm not a big fan of solana right now obviously price action looks terrible from a price action perspective however from a risk to reward ratio guys i would definitely put a small a small small bet on solana the tech is still really good. The st tech is still there. The, the 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 ecosystem is still there. All the main main players are still there. The only thing that happened was is that FTX or investments from big investor investors went bust. But the tech is still there. Okay, so a small punt for Solana. Definitely, I'm thinking about that buying a small bag. Okay, think about it. Um, what else do we have here we have cosmos coming down just a little bit testing previous lows chain link definitely consolidating consolidating at the bottom of the range um very bullish uh, actually just before the ftx dump um chain link was looking prime to get at the beginning a, a rally to the upside and of course cro we see it right now selling off retail investors right now are selling off cro quite hard new york protocol bottom of the range testing previous lows and this is what i'm talking about hi guys this is the time quant obviously bottom of the range v chain bottom of the range so many retesting previous lows not a bad time to start accumulating if you missed the previous dump the previous dip now it could be this could be the bottom where we get a sideways price action and get a, a test to the upside however guys we need to be prepared with the fact that cro can cause another landslide 
right and the more of these fud events or these events that we get these bank runs these um liquidity crunches that we get we're gonna harden the crypto community the crypto space will harden and eventually the sell-off will stop the people that um the damage will be done unfortunately many people will lose a lot of money unfortunately people will have a uh, drifted away from crypto and unfortunately the crypto community might be set back just a little bit however we are going to remain with all the bullish players in the market left everybody that is super bullish the super bulls of crypto will be left and that's what we need to wash out and that's what's happening right now we're getting a max a mass exodus for those individuals that are just in it for quick quick gains now, in addition, um, I did post this on Twitter. I do believe right now this phase or this narrative regarding testing liquidity is not over. I feel like right now this is our this is the crypto community's way of testing centralized exchanges for liquidity if they have enough reserve capital if they have enough collateral to basically um give back uh, or allow customers to withdraw their assets from the exchanges okay so this is their way of proving proof of reserve essentially this is what's happening right happening right now one by one if there's any gaps or if there's any you know inclination that there could be that scenario the community is testing for liquidity and this is what's happening right now with crypto.com crypto.com has yet to make a statement an official statement regarding this issue and what i want to be prepared with is what about if they stop withdrawals like many other exchanges like ftx did as soon as that happened that's when everything fell off apart okay so we need to be prepared and this is why i want to look at the charts today i want to talk about what is happening with cro what could be what what price targets do we expect to achieve and maybe get some support so let's get right into the charts guys and just i just want to begin by saying guys this video is not about clickbait it's not about um any of that i'm not here for the views right now i'm here to protect the community and be prepared for a potential sell-off okay so i'm not saying that it's going to happen i'm not saying that i'm convinced that you know that you should run for the hills i'm not saying any of that but on the channel a big big concept is capital preservation and risk management and the same thing when i came out with that video for ftx that was my biggest objective is capital preservation and the same is happening right now i want to make sure that my community is protected guys if you're not part of my community do yourself a huge favor subscribe to the channel click the bell button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos guys when i release a video it's because i found something interesting in the charts or in the news that we need to pay attention to and right now cro is one of those scenarios and we see that right now CRO is testing the bottom of the range, holding steady here, desperately holding steady. And I put this trend line in here because I feel like this is the last area of support before we could potentially come down. Now, again, I'm going to repeat this. Risk management is a big part of my trading strategy. And we can see that the volume confirmation is quite scary, meaning that you can look at volume as a voting system. The more volume to get we get, the more we get confirmation that the market participants agree with the sell-off. So more people are selling off, meaning that there's agreement with this sell-off. OK, this is what's scary. The only thing that I could say is that we had a huge candle to the downside, which means that we could get a huge response to the upside at any moment because we, looking left, we are at a critical area of support. Look at the supply and demand here a pretty decent bounce area and we have it right here at the bottom of the range or the top of this um area right here which is at about uh i would say six cents or so okay and don't forget cro did top out right at the top 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 at about a dollar which for me is quite a bit you know what i mean if you think about it, if we get a recovery here this is a good risk to reward scenario okay so let's kind of get into the charts and get into a little bit more detail here so we know that this is critical right Right now, the, you run the risk if you short here that we get a bounce and we come right back up to this previous area of support and back test it for resistance, which is happens very, very often. And we also have a cluster of supply and demand here based on this price action. So the, the area that I would be really, really watching out for for a back test is right around this zone, guys, which is at about 10 cents or so. Obviously, look at these wicks. They could act as support slightly below. So be prepared that, you know, once we get to the this zone, 
be prepared that we are looking for a rounding off of price action, some bear, bearish divergence, or some indicator that we're not breaking higher than this. And maybe we could roll over and get a better risk to reward ratio than shorting the market right now at six cents because we could get a reaction to the upside. Given that the, the right now the current news is not really confirming the, the validity or the truth of insolvency regarding crypto.com, we have nothing to go by other than rumor. Okay, so be prepared. Right now, it's like a, a sell the rumor, buy the news scenario. It could happen. All of a sudden, CRO comes out with something really bullish, really interesting, some some real proof, some hard proof of, of liquidity. And then all of a sudden, boom, we get a nice pop to the upside, boom, and forget it. You get wrecked. So what I would do is definitely if you plan on shorting here, you got to get into lower time frames and make sure that you get that stop loss happening. We're going to get there very soon. Let's stick in the daily right now, because at the end of the day, if we do come back up here, this would give you a great risk to reward ratio. You short at these levels. And if we break above and we start consolidating up here and getting support to break to the upside, guys, be prepared that at the end of the day, we could come back and rally to the upside and hit the 200 EMA on the, on the, on the daily, which happens quite quite often and what i want to uh, present to you is by the time we do get to this zone you'll see that the r uh, the r uh, the um, ema will definitely come down to to a lower level so that is very important now i also want to look at the oscillators i usually in this case i only focus on price action but we need to see some bear, bullish divergence here before we can say okay you know what is enough is enough and we get a nice huge rally to the upside but as of now nothing is indicating to me even on the rsi that we could potentially you know stop here we could break down because everything that is being traded right now regarding crypto.com is about the news Okay, it's in preparation for a potential sell-off bank run scenario such as FTX, okay? So it's just about preparation. Now we see that according to this low and this low, we are coming down, but with the RSI, if we match up lows, it's this low right here, we're going up. So this is a very bullish scenario, bullish setup and bullish conditions or even neutral conditions. This is not a neutral scenario. This is a very, very FUD-like bearish scenario that is being spread throughout crypto Twitter, especially. Guys, get yourself on Twitter. Make sure you, you follow me on Twitter, guys. I give you a lot of what I'm thinking about throughout the market updates throughout the day, uh, news, charts, price action, whatever it is, I give you what's on my mind. And this morning, I, f I felt to compelled to tell you that I have a feeling this is the new narrative. The narrative is, is that many individuals, the, the crypto community is now going to be testing their exchanges for liquidity one by one. And it is going to be a scenario of the survival of the fittest. The exchange, the centralized exchange that has the liquidity, that did things legit, keeping customers in mind and keeping them as their priority, will Will survive this crash and eventually we'll see that the survival of the fittest will give us the greatest opportunities throughout the market we'll then get that fat rally to the upside but right now we're building trust the community does not trust centralized exchanges of course for give for very very valid reasons you know playing games with people's money is right now is be is very dangerous people don't want to be taken advantage of and they want to be safe so what we need to see here is perhaps some confirmation here at the bottom at lower ranges and, and a clear support on this orange line, which is at about six cents or so, based on this supply and demand looking left. Okay, that's what we need to see on these higher time frames. We could definitely come back up, hit the 200 EMA, let this creep up, maybe get support off this top. This was a little bit of a a quick sell-off, perhaps an algorithmic buy on, on exchanges based on the, the, the supply and demand looking left. But it could be that we round up and come back here to test this area again to see if we can break higher because this wasn't real a real test. This was an algorithmic buy based on, uh, on shorts on exchanges or sell-offs on exchanges, and then we came back down. We could definitely come right back up. And that's the scary part, guys, because at where we are right now, let's just be, be clear. Where we are right now, which is at about six cents or so, the bottom bottom six sixty point zero six two six or so, if we get a, a bounce right here at this critical area of support, we could definitely come right back and go up sixty percent at minimum, and you would get wrecked if you went on high leverage, even low leverage, you would lose money, guys. So we got to get those stop loss. This is not a great risk to reward ratio. The reality is right. 
So we want to get make sure that we get in on the recovery, on the bounce to the upside, you know, and right now this is a, a very scary thing scenario right we see that the macd what is the macd oops i closed my macd i minimized it let's get it big what is the macd saying uh macd is showing that we're looking bearish as heck look at that coming back down in the bearish control zone facing down look not looking very good okay let's get into lower time frames quick and we can see that nothing is showing us an edge here we see uh a little bit of still that bullish divergence the rsi is trying to creep lower if it does make a lower low guys it doesn't look good again doesn't look good whatsoever right now it looks like crypto.com is still breaking down i i started this video it was a little higher it's still breaking down as we speak on lower time frame so guys look pushing 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 the volume is pushing down if you're gonna short this be prepared guys be prepared because at the end of the day you definitely don't want a scenario where um you're gonna go and not be able to withdraw any funds from your exchange okay so lower time frames even further let's get into the hourly again breaking down look at that guys breaking down as we speak this is a live breakdown with cro uh, again i'm not trying to spread fud here it's just that dang the community is very convinced here that they need to take their money off exchanges and do a sell-off okay now this could be the last dump before a reversal look at this scenario we are coming down while the rsi is going up guys is this this is classic bullish divergence but right now like i said we're trading the fud we're not trading fundamental uh ta here or even fundamentals really like as far as the technology here we're talking about the validity of a financial institution and that's the problem okay so that's the biggest issue so um, to be honest, right now, the risk to reward ratio is better to go in long with a tight stop loss. But right now, to be, be honest, as we speak, there is no tight stop loss. We could basically be falling here and your stop losses will be hit. It will be uh, taken out. So this is all about risk management, guys. Don't bet the farm here. Make sure you are, you know, putting stop losses so that you don't um, waste too much capital on your losses and on your trading fees. And guys, stay in higher time frames because you see a lot of wick price action here that could kind of wick you out. And yeah, guys, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet the farm. And to be honest, truth in defense of CRO, I'm not trying to defend, but let's be real. There's not real confirmation yet that this is actually going to play through. There's no proof other than FUD. Okay, and until we get a little bit of proof, there's but sometimes it's too late. You should be trading the FUD and then see what happens with the news. This is trading for you guys 101, you know, buy the news, uh, sorry, sell the news, buy the rumor, buy the rumor, sell the news, whichever it is, be prepared here. In this case, we are definitely selling the rumor and perhaps we could end up buying the news. It, it, it could definitely happen okay so let's be prepared keep your eyes out on the news follow the channel follow me on twitter because if i see anything interesting that could help us here with an edge expect an update in addition guys slap the like button guys i hope you found value in this video because i do try to put effort to give you value added as things are unfolding and and it, it does it does really help the channel it does help with the algorithm if you slap that like button thank you guys take care have a good one and don't forget buy the dip